So let's talk about clips in Resloom. Clips are like the building blocks of your composition, and they can be a lot of different things. A clip can be a video file, it can be a still, it can be audio. You can add an effect as a clip on a layer above other clips and use it like an adjustment layer if you're used to using Adobe products. Clips can also be live sources like an NDI feed or an SDI input. Just know that if you need to add a piece of media or an input, it's probably gonna go inside of a clip. So let's add a few to our composition. You can add clips in a few different ways here. One would be dragging them from your file browser if you're trying to bring in a piece of media. We'll just do that right now. Drag and drop into one of these open spaces. You can also drag and drop media directly into Resolume from your computer's file browser. If you want to add an effect as a clip, same thing. Drag it in to an open spot. Now you have an effect living as its own clip above your media. And lastly, you can double click on any of these headers here to open your quick search menu. If you wanna add a source quickly as a clip, you wanna add your capture device like your NDI feed, you can do that via the quick search menu as well. So once you've added some clips, to play them, simply click the thumbnail. If you want to change some parameters or look at information on the clip, you can click the name and it will take it to your preview monitor and then it will highlight it in your clip pane so you can see the information on that clip and make changes. Know that when you do this, it's not making any changes to what's going to your actual composition. So you haven't changed your output, you're just previewing the clip and then you can make changes and add effects over here. If you wanna move a clip around, Click the name, just drag it to another spot. So if you wanna play multiple clips at once, you can hit your column, and that will fire everything that you have in that vertical stack. And so here we're actually seeing an effect being overlaid onto our video file right here. Lastly, if you want to update a file without changing the parameters or effects that you've applied to a clip, you can drag your new file in directly to that clip, and it's going to keep the effects that you have there, but it's going to change the file that it's referencing. Another use for this is if you want to add audio and combine it to a video clip, you can just take an audio file, drag it to that video clip, and it will change the overall length of that clip to match your audio file. So right now we have an effect on a layer above our clip, but we're going to delete that effect. I'm going to add an effect directly to the clip over here in our clip pane. So I'm clicking the effect and I'm dragging it over to the clip pane and now this effect is within this clip. So you can add as many effects as you want here, and they're not going to affect other things happening in this column. So this is how I prefer to add effects to clips. You know, I don't add effects above clips as like an adjustment layer very often because there's so many other things going on and I'm not really trying to do an effect on all of that. I'm usually adding effects directly to the clips. And again, you know, this clip can be anything. It can be a live camera feed, it can be a video file. So it can be helpful to think of a clip as just a general container for media, for inputs, for effects. But generally when you're using them, you're probably gonna be using it for your video files, maybe some stills, um, not so much for layering. We're gonna get into how you can use other clips to affect other clips. Um, but usually that's with a video file over the top of another video file and you're blending them, right? So clips are containers, it could be an effect, but you can also add an effect to a clip.